This video describes point A6 in the poker rubric, which has to do with page chunking. So when we talk about chunking, we talk about dividing up your pages and assignments into manageable bits of information. Cognitive researchers have shown that our memories can only hold about four or five chunks of information at once. That's one of the reasons phone numbers are always divided up into numerals, a group of three numerals, and then a group of four numerals, because we can remember it easier instead of seven numerals in a sequence. In an online learning environment where the instructor is not right there to answer questions and provide guidance in real time, chunking is a really fundamental way to facilitate students' understanding. Through page formatting and chunking, teachers can help create a logical flow for navigating and learning information in an online class. Your reviewers will check for long blocks of texts. You don't want these in your classes because it can be difficult for students to retain or understand, so don't use them. Instead, your pages and instructions should be broken up into concise, descriptive section headings and subheadings, formatted using heading styles in Canvas to facilitate understanding. Text may also be broken up and made more scannable through the addition of images, lists, and tables. So here's an example of what I mean. The top of the page we have information with no formatting and then at the bottom of the page we have exactly the same information but with headings and chunks so we have a title and then subheadings and if you look at each example just here on your screen, you can see how much easier the chunked example is to read and understand. This is what we are aiming for in the poker rubric when we talk about A6. So notice that this online uh, page in Canvas has the title, and that's in one heading format and then a subheading. And then uh, it's been chunked into bullet points. So this is one easy way that you can chunk your bits of information for your students for clarity. Bullet points are great ways to get a lot of information across in order, okay? And then uh, we have a sub subheading here. There's a link for the student that wants to know more and have more context if they so choose to. Um, and then there's these bulleted lists and subheadings for clarity. So that's one way that you can chunk your information in your classes. You can use bulleted lists. The information is easy to see, it's all labeled, um, and students who want to know more have a place that they can go if you provide a link. Another way to do chunking is to break the text up into small paragraphs with headlines and pictures. Students can scan the headlines for clarity and then dive into the paragraphs for more details. And the picture even breaks everything up and helps the eye to understand. Here's something that your uh, reviewers are going to really be looking at. When chunking your pages and assignment instructions, be sure to use the provided heading structure in Canvas. So, heading one is the title of your page. Heading two should always be sort of the headline of your page, and then you need to follow that with subheadings of heading three, and you need to follow those with subheadings of headings four, and you need to make sure that all of your paragraphs are formatted with paragraph. If you do anything else, it won't be aligned with the rubric. 
when the page is finished, headline one, headline two, and then this page uses headline three and bullet points along with paragraphs to make it clear and easy for students to follow. For those of you that like to be creative with your pages, um, using the headline structure doesn't mean your pages have to be plain or uninteresting. It just means that you need to be conscious of how you are using your formatting. You'll notice that this page uses lines and text boxes and even color and pictures to make it attractive and visually stimulating. But the text headings are still one, two, three, and four in the logical outline flow that the rubric wants you to use. If you do like using color to format your pages and add clarity, I ask that you do be careful about which colors you use. Um, color text can create accessibility issues, so you need to be careful which colors you use because not all students see pages the same way. If you have any questions about accessible text colors, please contact your poker reviewers for help because this will also be an issue in how you format or text your pages. Chunking text reduces eye fatigue and overload, which ultimately helps clarify concepts and information for your students. Instead of being buried in an avalanche of information, your online students can easily find their way through your class because you've helped them through formatting to recognize key concepts. Chunking pages is ultimately all about student empowerment, putting tools right in front of them so they can take charge of their learning and grasp the knowledge they need to succeed.